Okay, folks, we're at Viola's, which is an Italian restaurant. They have pizza, they have seafood, they have pastas and all. And it's on Butler Beach in uh, St. Augustine, Florida area on Anastasia Island. And we stopped here because their website said pet friendly. Uh, unfortunately, they've had, uh, in the last couple of years, uh, some construction going on, and so you can't bring the dog in. Uh, they had outdoor seating. And uh, so we're sitting out front at a little table, and we have Jenny with us, and uh, the management so friendly, so nice. Uh, showed us pictures of their little doggy too. Uh, now, here's the thing to Florida, to your state government. Um, Texas, she was able to eat in restaurants. I understand we're not in Mexico anymore, but Texas, she was able to eat in restaurants. I'm not sure, was she able to eat in restaurants in Mississippi? Mississippi was outdoor, Texas was indoors, and some very nice restaurants. So Florida, come on, Governor DeSantis, get on board with this and uh, change the health department where, you know, your dog can come in and sit uh, underneath at a table while you're at a table. Won't hurt a thing. They're probably, oh, well, I'd rather eat in a restaurant with a dog than a bunch of screaming kids. Can't keep them out though, I guess. I'll show you what we're eating in just a few minutes. We had dinner at Viola's and it was excellent. Uh, the fettuccine Alfredo with the blackened chicken on it is what I had. And it was some of the best I think I've ever had. Andrew had a pepperoni pizza and it looked like it was good to me. And Renee had stromboli and I think she was uh, thrilled with it. So highly recommend Viola's if you're on Butler Beach, Anastasia Island, and the St. Augustine, Florida area. A place that we've eaten at before is called Cantina Louie. It's Mexican street food, and I mean to tell you, it's excellent. They got a bunch of locations around, but this is the same one we've eaten at before, and it's uh, right in St. Augustine, and it's great. Let me show you what it looks like. at Cantina Louis in St. Augustine, Florida. The food was delicious. Every time we've been here, we love it. The food's delicious. The horchata that I drank, the horchata tastes exactly like horchata in Mexico. And uh, the food was great, the service was great. Uh, we love the place. And if you're in St. Augustine, you need to try Cantina Louis.
Behind me is Osteen's Restaurant. We've been coming here for about 35 years. They don't take credit cards, they only take cash. They can seat about 50 people in the restaurant and sometimes the wait outside is up to two hours. So you want to come at the right time of day uh, to be able to come here and get food. You put your name in at the window outside and you wait and, and they'll call your name and then you can get a table. Now in our case, we're sitting outside in an area that was designed just for people to wait uh, during COVID. And so uh, it's not the same, you know, you're in, you're not inside the air condition, but we have Jenny with us. And so we have to do what we have to do. Now, while you're waiting at Osteen's, and I'm gonna show you the food in just a moment. It's wonderful. It's the best shrimp you will ever have anywhere in your life. I promise you that. The building there is called Bazaar Bazaar. It's one of the largest antique stores and bazaars that you can find what's great is while you're waiting if you have a long wait you go in there and you can hear your name called while you're waiting and you can do some really cool shopping see a lot of neat stuff in there Now, the shrimp sauce, the pink sauce, is wonderful. That's something that they make here, and it is delicious for dipping your shrimp in, your french fries, even your cornbread, your hush puppies in. Uh, the shrimp, you'll notice they're butterfly shrimp. Now, I, I, guess, I guess it's dependent upon what they get, because what they serve is what was caught yesterday, cleaned last night. It's as fresh as you're possibly gonna get. When they're out, they're out. But these shrimp, or I've seen them here where they were double this size, easily double this size, uh, where it would take two bites on each side of that butterfly shrimp. So they're a little bit smaller this uh, season than what we've seen them before, but I'm sure they're just as delicious.
We had a wonderful lunch at Harry's in St. Augustine, Florida. We've eaten here before. It's a New Orleans style uh, place to eat and you can get some shrimp and grits here and uh, boudin balls and uh, just some one jambalaya, wonderful food, wonderful food. And uh, the service is always fantastic. Now, the video that I showed you and the pictures I showed you was outside. We always choose to eat outside because we have Jenny with us. Now, of course, you can eat inside. They've got first floor dining and second floor dining. It's a big restaurant, so you shouldn't have any problem getting a seat at Harry's. And they're rated one of the best uh, TripAdvisor, one of the best restaurants in St. Augustine, Florida. ate a beachside diner on A1A and food's great. I mean, granted, you, know, you got to realize that anywhere that you're eating in the St. Augustine area, it's going to be pricey. Uh, it's going to be a little spendy because you're in uh, a touristy area. Uh, but I just had uh, the fish and shrimp and uh, it was delicious. Andrew had the French toast and he, then he got a chocolate milkshake. And Renee had uh, a chicken salad sandwich and she said it was great. So we two thumbs up for the diner here on A1A.